Well, things are heating up in the CI kitchen with a spicy and sweet recipe. Joining us from Anything Goes 773, we have Chef Tomarlo Hatchet and Chef Michael Dorsey. It's great to have you both here with us. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, absolutely. Okay, I'm really interested to what we're making today because okay. it's ingredients that I wouldn't necessarily put together. Chef Hatchet, tell us what we're making. All right, so over here we have a simple breading process, but we have a shrimp that we're finna deep fry. We're finna make deep fried shrimp, deep fried shrimp Cheetos, and we're gonna have a sweet sauce that go yep. with it. And Mike gonna explain it. It's gonna be a dipping sauce. Um, traditionally, it would be a tomato puree, but I'm just gonna spice it up a little bit and make it a little bit sweeter so it could complement the shrimp. Okay, and where did this idea of the Cheetos mix into this? Because I love this, I love Cheetos, <laughs> and I love shrimp, but I would have never thought to put those two together. It's so, all about being creative in the kitchen. That's what we try to strive for, which goes into the name of, like, anything goes. We yeah. just try to make things different. So it'd be like, it'd be an eye catcher, like, oh, I would never think to put yeah. this together. And then it tastes good at the end of the well, day. Well, you did it on this one, that's for yeah. sure. Yes. And <laughs> I'm excited to try it. So what are the ingredients? Obviously, Cheetos and shrimp. What else are we going to need for this? All right. Well, we already had a seasoning blend that we already put together. We already incorporated with our flour. So that's already ready to go. Mm -hmm. We added some cayenne pepper. Like I said, a little bit of our secret yes, ingredients of yes. herbs. And we have our egg wash right here and Cheeto mix right here. And yep. Mike will explain the rest of his ingredients. I have fresh basil, um, sliced tomatoes, sesame oil, and then I have a blend between salt, pepper, garlic, and oregano, and sugar, ketchup, honey. Yep. All the good stuff. Okay, what are our first steps here? All right, so our first steps would be we need the add our shrimp um actually i can um demo put those gloves on yes you're gonna like toss this in here is that right yes okay so this is what got the shrimp dipping it in there uh-huh get it nice okay. and good then we bring it over here to the egg interesting sure i would have switched that oh, I, so. I wouldn't have thought to do it that way so this is like the original way to like do it and stuff okay. like that. A lot of people do have their own techniques and stuff, but this is like the way you really want to have it. <gasps> Look how covered that to, is. Oh my goodness. You know, if you really wanted to have the, like, the sauce and get that, you know, the that crunch, crunch and all so, that. Yeah. Okay, so we dipped it in the flour, then the egg wash, and then the Cheetos. Yes. And then, of course, over here, Chef Michael, we're getting ready to make the yes. sauce over here to complement so, the spice here. So, yeah, so now I've dropped my oil. Once it gets to almost a smoking point, I will add my tomatoes. So I just want to sweat those down. Traditionally, with tomato puree, people like to boil it for like three to four minutes. But this is just my recipe, and I'm going to sweat it down so the flavor can just come out gently. So you want to keep it at a gentle heat between low and medium. So. Okay. And do you wait for the pan to be heated up before you put anything yeah. in the pan. Mm -hmm. Okay, honestly, I am so <laughs> impatient that I never do that, but everyone tells me it's the worst thing that I don't. Yeah, because <laughs> you can yeah, it is. overcook or yeah. undercook your food. Well, there we go. You don't cook evenly. So we've talked already a little bit about technique here mm -hmm. with, with preparing and making food. Yes. Now, of course, when people order from you guys, you guys do the hard stuff. But it does seem that you can have your own way to do it, but there is kind of a proper technique to think. Yeah. yeah, you always want to keep the proper way so you can always give the customers the restaurant feeling at home, you know, because that's what we want to do. We want to bring the restaurant to their home so they won't have to leave their home. And we can go in there, we can make them whatever they need, meet all their customs, everything, and we just make... The food tastes good for them. You just bring like that restaurant, restaurant, yeah, that yeah. restaurant experience back home. So you do catering as well as just kind of at home yeah, if like you just don't want to cook. Dinners. Yep. We like intimate couple dates and stuff like that. So yeah, well, we do so all cool. Even large gatherings and yeah. stuff. So whatever someone needs and whatever they the, yes. their special uh, diets or whatever, you guys can help out. All right, so we're going to finish up with making this sauce and making a couple more of these shrimp. And in the meantime, we'll connect you um, at uh, CILiving.tv, and we'll have the reveal with them a little bit later. You're not going to want to miss that for sure.